So there's this great kerfuffle going on in India over Akshay Kumar's nationality. Now that he's come out openly uh, admitting that he's a Canadian national, he holds a Canadian passport and the country is just absolutely beside itself with anger. Why? I have been following uh, this um, this new development over Akshay Kumar's uh, Canadian nationality over the past couple of days. I have read a great deal of comments on social media, all the uh, various news coverages and, and video clips and wh whatever uh, various source of information uh, that I could uh, tap. I have been thinking a great deal about it and uh, I have a few observations of my own that I would like to share uh, with you. and, and and let me know how you feel about whether you agree or disagree with those uh, observations. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, it'd be interesting to know uh, other perspectives on, uh, on this whole issue of uh, nationality. So here are my uh, few observations. I will start with observation number one. Why is India so angry about, uh, about this issue? Why is India so miffed with Akshay Kumar? knowing that that he is a Canadian national and he's not an Indian national. Is it because they're jealous? Is it because they're envious? Is it because they want a Canadian citizenship as well? Or is it that they really think he's a traitor? You need to look within, introspect, and come up with an honest answer. Why do you feel the way you do about this entire issue? Where is your anger actually emanating from? Be very real and honest about your feelings and you'll hopefully you'll have the answer that's gonna calm you down and that's gonna make you realize that we're making a mountain out of a molehill. Number two observation is, so what if he's, if he's a Canadian? I mean, what is wrong with being a Canadian of Indian origin, uh, 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 being an Indian who was born and raised in India and now happens to hold a Canadian citizenship and c continues to live in India? Of all the places you could have gone to, move to and live, he chose to live in India for, for commercial compulsions or whatever compulsions, for professional compulsions, whatever. But he has chosen to live in India just like any other Indian citizen and continues to pay taxes in India and lives his life abiding Indian laws, governed by Indian laws. Millions of people starting hundreds of years ago gave up their Indian citizenship, moved to Canada, the UK, to Australia, to New Zealand, to the United States and they continue to do so. So what's wrong with one film actor actually doing that for his, uh, his personal uh, benefit? What's wrong with that? Don't we all have uh, the right to look after our own interests and do what's in our best interest? Hundreds and thousands of people uh, leave India every year. Millions have left in the past and millions will leave uh, in the future. Why are we singling out a check mark? Just because he lied, he tried to gloss over the fact that he's a Canadian national. I'm fully aware of the fact that a few years ago, he was interviewed on national television. Someone pointedly asked him if he was a Canadian citizen and he said, About the Canadian thing, I am an honorary citizen. I've been given an honorary thing. I think it's a, it's a thing that people should be proud about. Now that's a that's a separate issue uh, for debate altogether. Why would Indians be proud of someone acquiring a Canadian citizenship, whether it's honorary or re regular? Uh, it's beyond me, and I, I find it quite ridiculous. But at the same time, I feel where he was coming from as an actor um, who's who's deeply associated with the patriotism or causes related to patriotism um, commercially, to a great extent on a personal level as as well. I can understand his reservations, his his compulsions for for not coming out openly and saying he's a Canadian national. That is quite understandable. Commercial and social reasons were underlying that approach, and he was not perhaps ready for uh, the kind of negative news, negative headlines he was going to get once he revealed that. He probably knew sooner or later he's going to have to do that. But maybe that was not the exact time in his, in his career, in his life, to come out with the truth. Yes, I agree he lied about that and that was quite petty and ridiculous. But I don't think that requires the kind of a blowback that he's getting from uh, the entire country. I think that's quite hypocritical on the part of people who are giving him heck over, over such a small lie. 
I would call it a small lie because compared to some of the other Indians and politicians, celebrities, kind of the, some of the lies that they have told the, to the nation, comparatively, they had greater implications for national interest and security, and yet these people were let off lightly by Indians, by its citizens. So why are we why are we being so harsh um, with Akshay Kumar? Just because he's a celebrity, just because he's an actor making millions and millions of dollars? Yes, that's the nature of the beast. That's the profession he's chosen for himself that, that happens to pay. And no doubt he's worked really hard to be around for as long as he has. How many actors do you know who've actually managed to stick around as successfully as Akshay Kumar has in the, in the Indian film industry where, where careers are made and broken over just one movie, over just one weekend? He has definitely put in a lot of hard work and, and, and grind to get where he is today and he continues to grind really hard for his career. Let's give him credit where it's due. Now let's talk about uh, people questioning his Indianness. Now I want you to understand that an Indian who was born and raised in India will always be Indian. No matter where he chooses to live, he'll always be Indian. Akshay Kumar will be Indian in spirit in the languages that he speaks, in his views and opinions, in his values, in his religion, in his worldview, in his, uh, uh, in his dietary habits, in his uh, relationships, out and out he is going to continue to be Indian forever. So what is it that, uh, that you're really upset about? What is it that you're really questioning? You, you certainly can't question his Indianness because He's, he's Indian inside out. There's no two ways about that. Regardless of what travel document he happens to hold, he is Indian in spirit and he'll always remain so for the rest of his life. My next point is that uh, people have a problem with the fact that he li lied about, uh, uh, about his, his citizenship and he's living in India and earning in Indian money, uh, selling patriotism or whatever, nationalism. I would say that he is living in India legally. He may have a Canadian passport, but he also is a person of Indian origin. It's called PIO. It's a little booklet that you that all Indians of Indian origin with ties to India can apply for and that grants them the right to live in India legally, just like any other Indian citizen. They can own property. I, I think apart from two things, they are able to do anything that they want. They can take up a full-time job. They can own property and they can live in India um, for as long as they wish. They can leave India anytime they want and they can come back to India and continue living in India as they wish. The only two things they can't do is hold a government position, work for the government and they cannot vote. Apart from these two, a PIO card holder has the exact same rights as a non-resident Indian holding an Indian passport or a resident Indian living in India, holding an Indian passport or Indian citizenship um, in some shape or form. So to that extent, uh, Akshay Kumar has been living in India absolutely legally. He's paying his taxes, he's earning in Indian rupees, he's paying his taxes in Indian rupees, uh, quite honestly, he's probably one of the biggest taxpayers in, in, the, in the Indian community, uh, or definitely in Bollywood in any case. He's also broken no laws, he's not committed any crime. So I don't quite understand where this anger is coming from. What, what's his real fault? Um, I, I'm pretty sure Akshay Kumar is not the only Bollywood actor. He's not the only celebrity who happens to hold a foreign citizenship, foreign passport. There are many yeah. Indians uh, living in India currently on uh, actually hold in, um, hold non-Indian passports, whether they're British passports or American passports or uh, by, by virtue of immigrating to other countries or by virtue of birth. Many, many Indians hold foreign passports and they continue to live in India, work in India and make a living for themselves, going about their business. Uh, I, I don't quite understand what the big deal uh, is. Uh, why are we singling out Akshay Kumar for that? Um, is it because he's been uh, trying to sort of uh, sell patriotism, sell nationalism? I mean, come on, decide for yourself. Who do you stand with? Do you stand with an Indian who's, who's um, fueling fires of bigotry and and, and and hatred among fellow Indians and dividing them on uh, on the basis of caste, religion, ideology, uh, political uh, leanings? 
or you would side with a Canadian of Indian origin living in India, working for Indian causes, supporting Indian causes, promoting nationalism and, uh, nationalism and actually binding Indians together with a glue of nationalism, with a glue of patriotism. Would you have problem with, with that just because he's a Canadian national? I mean, that's ridiculous. That's very petty, which I find quite disappointing, quite frankly. And my final thoughts are that regardless of who you are, where do you live? I think on top of everything else, above all else, you have to be a good human, a good citizen, a law abiding citizen. And remember, as an Indian, once you surrender your Indian passport, you do not necessarily surrender your love for India. Once an Indian is always an Indian. You'll continue to love India. You'll continue to have those um, ties that, that bind you to Mother India, to your homeland. That's never going to change. How hard it is to understand the simple fact for those who are questioning AK's Indianness and his love for homeland. Get a grip, resident Indians. Get a grip. Let me hear your thoughts and views, whether you agree with me, whether you agree with my views or not. If you have views of your own, don't be shy. Share them uh, in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends if you like it. And thanks for watching.